Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. There have been some user reports from users of the Microsoft Edge web browser that after updating to Microsoft Edge version 97, which is the latest stable version, there are issues now with Startup Boost that is in conflict with certain extensions installed in the Edge browser. So to get to Startup Boost, we just head to our menu in the top right, Settings, head over to System and Performance, and here we have Startup Boost, where Microsoft says in the description, the browser will launch in the background when you sign into your device and continue running when you close all browser windows. So this is just basically a performance setting, which many of you do know of. Now, apparently the uh, issue is regarding certain extensions um, like Office and Microsoft Editor and similar extensions like Grammarly as well that are generating a message saying under Startup Boost um, that Startup Boost is turned off as the current profile is using one or more extensions that are conflicting. Now I can't demonstrate because I haven't, um, I'm not using any of those extensions and I'm not getting the error and I don't have the issue. But I'm sure that by the end of this video you will get the general idea. So if your Startup Boost, the feature is turned on and grayed out and you've seen that Startup Boost error regarding your current profile is using one or more extensions that are conflicting then there is a little bit of a workaround you can try now this is very similar to a recent issue we had regarding edge bar in microsoft uh, the, uh, in the microsoft edge browser where it was also unable to be used when extensions were enabled and i see since um, i've posted that video previously a while back that that seems to have been resolved and now you can see my I have three extensions enabled and Edge Bar does actually work now. So that has been resolved. But currently this is a new issue regarding Startup Boost. And if you would like to, you know, have a little workaround until um, obviously Microsoft rolls out a fix, um, you just head back to your system and performance and you will see a list here of the extensions that are causing the issue. So if it's Grammarly or Microsoft Editor or Office, you will see a list of those extensions and all you do is turn all the extensions off and then disable and toggle off Startup Boost and then you can turn those extensions back on and you can just use them as you did previously. But obviously you won't have Startup Boost enabled. Um, but I have personally found that it's personally I don't see too much difference with or without Startup Boost enabled. So for me personally, I would rather have my extensions enabled and turned on then start a boost if I had a, a choice and a preference. And then also um, another workaround is um, if you're not using a certain extension, you can just disable um, that extension or those extensions by just fiddling around a little bit um, to see which one is actually causing the conflict uh, with start a boost, but that's not optimum. And then obviously um, we hope that Microsoft does roll out a fix for this sooner than later. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.